Good morning students. We have discussed about the separation of solid and solid mixtures in the previous class. Today, we will study about the separation of solids from liquids. Now, when the solid is insoluble in the liquid, then we use the following techniques. The first one is sedimentation. We take the example of chalk powder in water. Now, what is sedimentation? So, the settling down of the insoluble heavy solid particles in a solid liquid mixture at the bottom of the container is called sedimentation. The solid particles that settle down at the bottom of the container are called sediments. The clear liquid above the sediments is called supernatant liquid. You can see in this picture, the sediments are formed at the bottom and the clear liquid is above the sediments called supernatant liquid. Now what is the technique of this kind of separation? How do we do it? Take the example of sand and water. We know that sand is insoluble in water. The mixture is allowed to stand undisturbed till the insoluble heavy solid particles settle down and they form two different layers. The sand settled at the bottom is referred to as sediments and the clear water or the partially clear water present above the sediments is called supernatant liquid. The next step is decantation. When we slowly transfer the supernatant liquid into another beaker without disturbing the sediments, the process is called decantation. So what is decantation? It is the process of pouring the clear supernatant liquid without disturbing the sediments. Now I would like to add on one thing here. Sometimes the insoluble particles do not settle down easily at the bottom of the liquid. Then we add a small piece of alum to it. Do you know children what is alum? You must have seen this at home. Sometimes, you know, our father or the male members at home, after shave they use this transparent kind of thing that is alum. So alum or potash alum we can say, this speeds up the rate of sedimentation. What do we do? The suspended particles which remain scattered in the liquid become heavy with the help of alum dissolved in water. This speeds up the process of sedimentation. We call this process of adding alum to speed up sedimentation as loading because it increases the load of the suspended particles. Now the next step our next process that we are going to discuss now is filtration. The process of separating the fine insoluble solid particles from a solid liquid mixture through a filter is called filtration. Why I am saying fine? Because they remain suspended. Whereas the heavy particles, they can be separated by sedimentation. The fine particles, they remain scattered or suspended in the liquid. So we use the process of filtration. The mixture is allowed to pass through a filter with pores that allow the liquid to pass through but not the solid particles. The solid left on the filter is called the residue and the clear liquid or filtered liquid that flows out through the filter is called the filtrate. We, the, we take the example of sawdust and water. Children you know what is sawdust? When we cut the wood with the help of a saw then this kind of dust is formed. We call it as sawdust. And this sawdust is very light in weight. It doesn't settle down completely. It remains scattered in the liquid. You can see this. Okay. So how to separate sawdust and water? We allow the mixture of sawdust and water to pass through a filter paper. Okay. Fixed in a funnel. This funnel can be fixed up on a tripod stand or on iron stand. After some time, we see that sawdust settles on the filter paper as residue and the clear water passes through it as filtrate. This filtrate gets collected in the beaker and both are separated. Now the next type of mixture is solid liquid mixture when the solid is soluble in the liquid. 
here the process of sediment uh, sorry evaporation will be used here we have water and salt mixture water and sugar mixture they are soluble mixtures now if we have to separate this kind of mixture then we use the method of evaporation right now you can see that evaporation boiling two methods are given here boiling increases the rate of evaporation because heating is being done evaporation is only from the surface but boiling is from the bulk okay now what do we do in evaporation evaporation is a process of changing a liquid into its vapor state when we heat the mixture then the rate of evaporation speeds up or it is faster process now now what is the technique how do we do it the liquid constituents of the mixture is allowed to evaporate by exposing it to air sunlight or by heating it the liquid is lost to the air and the solid is left behind you can see in this experiment we have a solution of common salt and water in the china dish and this is being heated by the burner after some time the water evaporates and common salt is left behind a very good example of this evaporation is when it is used on a large scale to obtain common salt from the sea water sea water is trapped in shallow ponds and allowed to evaporate in the sun common salt is left behind you can see in this picture the salt is collected okay now children this is the process of evaporation which is commonly used by the people who uh, separate salt from sea water here we end with this chapter this was the last topic in your ch uh, chapter chapter 3 so we had end with the chapter here and i will be discussing or i will be showing you the practical demonstration of these things in the next video till then take good care of yourself be safe and stay at home thank you children